President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden have described their long-awaited virtual summit as candid and fruitful. Their discussions, which lasted more than three hours, touched on various issues, with both leaders stressing the need to avoid confrontation. Sarah Wang reports. President Xi Jinping went into his first video summit with his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden after winning a strong endorsement from the Chinese Communist Party. Xi warmly greeted Biden as an old friend as the two leaders pledged to find a way forward despite bilateral tensions. In his opening remarks, the Chinese leader told Biden that Beijing and Washington should work together to achieve success on the basis of mutual respect and peaceful coexistence. Healthy and stable Sino-U.S. ties, he stressed, are crucial in tackling global challenges, and he vowed to build consensus with Biden to lead their countries forward. It seems to me our responsibility as leaders of China and the United States to ensure that the competition between our countries does not veer into conflict. None of this is a favor to either of our countries, uh, what we do for one another, but it's just responsible world leadership, and you're a major world leader, and so is the United States. All countries have to play by the same rules of the road, why the United States is always going to stand up for our interests and values, and those of our allies and partners. After their brief public exchange, the two presidents spent over three hours in closed-door discussions on globalization, energy security, public health, climate and geopolitics. State media said Biden reiterated that Washington does not support Taiwan independence, as she warned of resolute measures if separatist movements gained ground. She also opposed external interference in the name of human rights, and Biden pledged not to seek regime change in China. The Chinese leader called for contacts to continue, and he urged Biden to base his China policy on rationality and pragmatism. China and the U.S. are two tankers sailing in the sea, she stressed. We need to steer the wheels steadily to avoid collision at all costs. Sarah Wong, HKIBC.